I grew up with a love-hate relationship with safety gear. <laughs> uh, because I respected what it could do for me as mm -hmm. far as protecting me. My mom was a safety specialist. So I, we had like all these like earplugs, safety goggles, hard hats. Like if I wanted to like. What the f was y'all doing? If, <laughs> what was happening to you as a child that you needed a hard hat and earplugs? Safety goggles. No, well, I'm to go to saying, school. I, I always knew like about safety and like, you know. Okay, but now were you ever hurt without your safety equipment and you regretted <laughs> yes. it? Yes. I didn't like just keep a hard hat at all times. <laughs> the way you said it was like you were born with a hard hat. <laughs> yeah. So look, some gear just isn't safe. Just like this category, unsafety gear. Take a look. Oh, this is perfect, man. Go, go. You got plenty of padding down here. Safety box. Yeah, he's got it's long. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's safe though. Yeah, his arms aren't broken, that's for sure. Oh, okay. got it. Oh, got perfect. It. Perfect. I got my helmet. We're making a new Iron Man. Here we go. I got this. Oh. Throw him away. Man, literally. <laughs> Throw your whole life away, kid. Just like, like it. He's just legitimately asleep. Man, that helmet didn't do anything. There you have it for unsafety gear. Okay. I mean, I love cash. Love carrying it. Okay. I hate it. it what? Cash? Yeah. I hate cash. Oh. What do you tip like the valet and stuff? Yeah. Y'all sound so Hollywood. Like, yeah. She was like, "How do you tip valet?" <laughs> People with hundos in the streets all the time. <laughs> Uh, what I really wanted to talk about was cash, right? Yeah. And, and it's still very important in the world, despite the fact that 90% of it is covered in fecal and cocaine. And it's okay. true. That's true. It still is. Cash is king. Take a look. <laughs> All right, you go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you call him there. You charge him $2 for every two you get. <laughs> That dog broke his hair. <laughs> bro, hey, hey, bro, bro, bro. I ain't trying to sound racist to my own, but you took chicken from a black dude and thought, <laughs> and thought you was gonna just get away with it? Yeah. He said, no, nah, man, you gotta run some bread. <laughs> this dude is not being held responsible for anything. No. Right? no accountability. He has no idea where he's at. He's just hungry. <laughs> $100 on a scratch off. Okay, <laughs> all right. Here we go. I appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. Oh. 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 Okay. Just know that this young man has a mouthful of fecal and cocaine. What television show made fist fighting mainstream? Jerry Springer. That's right. That's 100%. right. 100%. Right? That's I grew right. up on that. Right now, now, do you believe Jerry Springer made it okay to fist fight on television? Yeah, he did. He did. But what you don't realize is Jerry didn't set the whole thing off. Okay. The local news did. Because people have been fist fighting on the news for years, okay? <laughs> All Jerry did was package it up into a little show and make it mainstream. Okay. okay? Take a look at some of the original fist fighting on TV, Lights, Camera, Fight. <laughs> Basically, I've seen a bunch of people here just that uh, I'm trying to uh, beat it. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. What the fuck is Batman okay. gonna do with the bat? What okay. Is that, is that Batman? <laughs> hey, Batman, Look. get your ass in there and do something. Basically, everyone at the news oh, station. Man. Oh, oh man. Okay. This gotta be fake. This gotta be fake. This gotta be fake. But he sold me on it. He did. <laughs> That's it for our episode today. Christine O'Grimm and Chanel West Coast. I'm Rob Vinnick. We'll see you next time on Ridiculous.